Welcome friends. This particular session is intended to uh, give you a brief idea about how to develop a class library and use it, uh, use that particular class library in your project. So uh, in .NET framework obviously. So to do this uh, in .NET framework and uh, using Visual Studio ID, first you have to have you know a uh, class library template from file new project dialog box. So if you click on file new project and uh, on this new project dialog box will pop up over there they will get a class library template. Give a nice name to it. Let it be my class library. This is the path where you want to save that class library and this is the solution name. So now click OK to continue. Now it's time to check the solution explorer what this ID has generated the moment you take a class library template project. See the properties and references will be there and apart from that you will get a file called class1.cs. Surely you can change the name of it. Let it be calc. Let's develop a very simple calculation class see one message box popped up if we're renaming a file would you also like to perform a rename in this project of all references to the code element class 1 yes I want to do that so the name will be calc automatically and so see this is the name of the namespace okay now let's process it first uh, very quickly uh, let me develop one uh, function named add hope this is a very simple function and understood very properly and uh, see I maintained a Pascal casing convention in my class library perfect okay uh, let me uh, quickly add uh, three more uh, functions named uh, subtract division multiplication uh, for the time being let's take the subtract only and first value and second value will be input see first value minus second value I'm not putting any validation written uh, within this particular function which yes surely you can put it let me save it now here uh, the most important part is uh, the moment you click build and build that particular class library you will never get any exe file as you get in other uh, projects let's see what happened in this uh, we developed that uh, what was the name the name was my class library my class library yes that's ready within that bin folder is there within debug this DLL file got created fantastic now it's time to consume the class library let me close the project quickly let me take another new project uh, which uh, can be a console based application let me name it using class library so now you have got your favorite program.cs file with classes now see the references part these are the default references now what I want to do I want to consume the class library we just created right click on references click add reference click on browse select that particular DLL
this is the DLL file for the time being uh, let me take two variables and uh, uh, initialize with some values dot calc instantiate object of that and finally let me print that now your my object will get access to the add function fantastic pass two values first number and second number now put a fantastic message like press any key to continue right now I need users to press a key ok now we were through with this sorry it should be like that now let's build it quickly it's ready let's run it the result is 25 so you have understood uh, how uh, a class library can be developed and how it consumed how it can be consumed uh, so hope you've enjoyed this video and uh,